So we need fingerling potatoes and these are what they are here. Skin on and I cut them in half as you can see. I give them a good wash. What we're gonna do is before we roast them to make sure they're nice and creamy and roast all the way through, we're going to boil them first. I'm gonna give it a rinse to get some of the starch out and then I'm gonna to top it up with water. I'm gonna cover it with water and we're gonna bring it up to boil. We're gonna salt it and we're gonna add a few cloves of garlic in here because I want that garlic flavor deep within the depths of these fingerling potatoes. So bring it up to the bowl, I've got it on that high heat. I've got four cloves of garlic that I just smashed because like I said, I want that garlic flavor all the way through and I'm gonna go in with some sea salt in there. Um, use whatever salt you have on hand, you like using, I just like using sea salt. I'm gonna bring it up to a boil and once it comes to a boil, we're just gonna simmer it for about five, six minutes, strain it and then we're gonna get to putting it together with all that herbal notes and herbal elements into the oven. It's been going on that rolling boil for six minutes. So what I want to do now is turn off the stove. I'm gonna drain it and put it into a big bowl so we'll be able to dress it before we put it into the oven. You can dress it in here. Your body camera will look nicer if we dress it in a bowl, I'm telling you, man. So we got that steam rising out of the bowl here. And you can see we still have the big chunks of garlic in there. You can leave that in there. Don't, don't really, yo, we'll, we'll make a scene about that. I'm gonna hit that with some scallion. I've got a large shallot. And if you don't have access to shallot, you can always use a small red onion. I've got a whack of garlic. Yeah, I love garlic in my potatoes. So that is six cloves of garlic that I I gave a rough, well not a rough chop, but I put it through the garlic press. Some fresh thyme, and I left it on the sprigs because later on it'll be easier to take off. If you wanted to take off the leaves individually, you can do that as well, but I find I get a lot of flavor from the stems being in there as well. To bring everything together, I've got olive oil, and to keep it herbal, a nice big whack of parsley. Now here's the thing ladies and gentlemen, if you like um, rosemary, if rosemary is your thing, I would highly suggest you put some rosemary in there. Boom, bam. If you love the flavor of rosemary, you're going to love it. And to finish off, I like going in with the juice of a lemon. Well, that is half of a lemon, not a full lemon. Yeah, I kind of forgot there are seeds in there. <laughs> All right, let's take those seeds out. No big deal. And all you're gonna do now is give that a good toss, but we need some fresh ground black pepper. If you recall, we boiled the potatoes in salted water, so there's no need to add more salt in here. But if salt is a thing, you know, some people love this salt. I'm just trying to cut back on the amount of sodium in my diet. Just gonna work my way and give everything a little kissy kiss with everything here. Is there sweet or love happening in this bowl here? And we want to make sure we coat, so if you need to add a bit more olive oil, you can do that. We want to coat it completely with the olive oil because that's gonna help it roast off nicely. Since I'm a one-man show, I couldn't show you guys and operate the camera at the same time, pouring it into the my bake my roasting pan here but what I did was I hit it a bit of cooking spray just to uh, and if you want to line it with foil or parchment paper you can do that as well trying to get it at a single layer if you can and we still got some more of that niceness I'm just going to scrape that down middle rack 375 in the oven my oven is a convection oven as I said in the last video I had mentioned that so keep that in mind that the convection oven will cook it a bit faster Sup soldiers? Listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I'm mean, trying to tell people the email address, them butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irene, Irene. Yo, 35 minutes later and this is what we're left with. I topped it with some fresh parsley there. We got herbs, we got garlic. It's been roasted in the oven. So fingerling roasted potatoes in the oven, meat free. 
vegan, vegetarian, <laughs> hold back on the salt and it's ital too. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. Yeah, you gotta admit it, looking sexy and nice, eh? Anyhow, I'm on gone.